Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alan Paul here, your host. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a beat. Well, this is going to be a permadeath run. I'm going to do a no starter ship challenge, as the title has given you reason to believe. And I'm going to start a new game. This is going to be a recorded version. I'm not going to do this live uh, in a live stream or anything like that. I've got a live stream of The Fugitive going on. I've got other videos going on. So I'm going to do this as a separate series. Now, hopefully if things go well, I can get this done in a relatively good amount of time. Now, if I think I can get this done within, say, like a two-hour period, we should be good. And then, you know, we'll go ahead and close it out and call it one video. But if I think this is going to take a long time then we're probably going to have a little bit of trouble with it. And what I'll do is I'll separate it out into multiple videos. So let's go ahead and get started, because I know you folks like your permadeath no starter ship challenges. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so we're going to do custom. Of course, I'm just going to immediately select permadeath. We're going to make everything maxed out on this one. Hmm. Here we go. Harsh. Uh, let's see here. Just want to check something here. Challenging, blah, 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 blah. Okay, save deleted. Good, good. Enemy strength is going to be challenging now. So standard makes it a little bit easier on me. But, you know, honestly, it's going to make it challenging now. I know a little bit more about how to operate my ship. It's going to be a little different. Now, we're going to definitely disable the tutor tutorial so we have access to uh, other tools and stuff like that. We don't want to do the tutorial at all. So we're going to leave that out. And occasionally I may have to mute my microphone. I'm just getting over being sick, so uh, my voice isn't quite fully where it needs to be. All right, so everything's done here. Everything's on maximum settings, including a locked difficulty. And we're going to do no starter ship. We're not going to use our starter ship at all. We're going to head in a random direction. Uh, we may even do one of these as a no HUD challenge, but not today. Today I'm just going to make it a little bit easier on myself. Uh, give me a break. I just got over being sick for Pete's sake. I just told you that. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Looks like we have another update coming out soon, so let's keep an eye open for that. A lot of hype. The hype train has already begun. We've been anticipating something like this was coming, and someone says it's a pretty decent size update, so something big is around the corner. We don't know what it is. Guess we'll find out soon. I'm guessing the next week. We're watching prices on all of the major uh places like steam uh, uh xbox uh, uh, playstation all the usual places where you can pick up this game and once the game goes half price that usually means that the update is about ready to, to come out possibly even an expedition we can hope for that that would be pretty cool an expedition just before thanksgiving would be kind of nice all right we're on a cold planet it looks like that's always cool all right uh let me take a quick look around here not a lot of vegetation, that's for sure. Um, wow, okay. Yeah. yeah. Frost crystals, okay, good. This may this means that we'll probably have dioxide as well, though, so that's a good thing. Um, let's go ahead and start picking up resources. We definitely need ferrite dust, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting that. I'm going to have to find a source for... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, carbon very very soon good geodes are nice ah get these resources while your laser is hot there we go all right let's see what we got nice okay that's a good amount all right we need to find plants the other than the one that i just harvested i need to find something else uh there's some plants right yeah carbon excellent <clears throat> let's see how much we get from this one plant Oh my gosh. Okay, well that's a good thing. Um, okay, that's hazardous flora. That's one of those whipper plants. I can always use a little bit of oxygen. That'll help me out. Okay, good. That'll give us a good amount of carbon. Uh, let's look for a cave, although I could use some of the sodium. Very odd I'm starting at night. I never started at night before. I usually start in the middle of the day. So, that's weird. <clears throat> I mean, that doesn't usually happen. I'll take that and that. Thank you very much. Projectile ammunition can go. Uh, we need to find a cave, though. I want to find a cave. Lots of frost crystals. I don't see a cave anywhere. Let's see if we can get some things done real quick here. So, first things first, go to our multi-tool. Let's repair the scanner. And we'll move that over here for now. Uh, I'm going to leave you here. And we're going to get a visor. 
And we need one carbon nanotube. Let's go ahead and get that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Like I said, I may be clearing my voice once in a while. Okay, there we go. Now we can scan. All right, now the ship is going to be there. We're not going to the ship. We're going to go probably to the south. Let's check the planet real quick. Where are we located? Yeah, we can go south for now. It's not a big deal. Maybe we will head north because, frankly, I like my prospects better going this way. We'll use this to get our self past all this. Pick up oxygen on the way. Good, 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 good. Okay, that helps me greatly. Again, we're going to have to watch for stuff. I see that there's some sodium over there. Sodium over here, too. We're going to need that. I don't know what the pulpy roots will give me. I don't know if it's for health or not. But we're going to find out in a minute. But I'll grab that while I'm here. Um, while we're here. There we go. Let's see if we can get this without digging. Yes, we can. That's going to give us money. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be great if this gave us a cold protection? Nanites. Okay, well, that's all right. And we definitely need the condensed carbon, so we'll go ahead and take that while we're here. We can't get the big one, but we can get the small ones around it. So we'll take what we can get. All right. Do we have anything underground? Take a look around real quick. I don't see anything. So we're going to have to put some sodium into our thing there. I'm not going to get any of the rusted metal just yet. More projectile ammunition? Really? Microprocessor. Okay, that's something. Uh, let's grab this. Let's see if we can get a little bit further along because we're going to need... A cave soon. Take a quick another look. We're looking for anything that is underground. I only got a little bit of sodium, but I'll use what I've got. Looks like there's some more sodium right in here, too. Good. Grab what we can. Good deal. Okay. So we're getting our shield charged a little bit better now. Alright. Again, I don't see any caves because we really could use a cave right now. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep wandering in different directions. We've got two pieces of broken machinery over here. We can get ourselves a shield. That would be even better. But I would like to find a cave to get ourselves some, um, <clears throat> pardon me, um, cobalt so I can make some batteries. There we go. All right, dust isn't going to be a problem on this planet. More nanites, okay. All right, let's see. Well, I hope this doesn't turn out to be one of those planets, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> that has nothing. That would be a really, uh, a real problem, I think. Alright. I'm having to mute the microphone a little more often than I expected. Uh, if I get up the hill, there we go. Some more sodium over here. There we go. Seeing as we don't have any batteries, I can take a couple moments to get this stuff. There we go. Okay, good deal. Oxygen. And since we don't have any sentinels to attack us just yet, we'll grab what we can. I'll go ahead and get the biological entity while I'm here. Again, take a look quickly at the ground, because you never know when you might find something underground. Hinting at a cave. 
Yeah, he's too far away. I'm not going to worry about him just yet. Let's keep going. So let's see what this gives us. I'm curious. Is this uh, hazard protection? I should have been watching. Okay, that's good. Get some frozen tubers, because I believe those are good for health. We'll find out in a minute. Ah, we have ourselves a settlement. Or something. An unknown building, anyway. Let's take a look at it. Hello. How you doing? Okay, good. Three of seven. So we'll get a couple... We'll get a, a little over a thousand nanites for finding all of them. Let's head towards this building. Now, again, we're not doing the fugitive run, so we're allowed to enter buildings and do stuff like that. I could really use a cave right about now. Doesn't appear to be one. Appears to have been a false one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we got ourselves a cave, folks. All right. Got these guys down here, and I really don't want them. If we had seen them from above, that would have told us that this was a cave. But we're more interested in those. All right, we'll get a little copper out of it. Not that I'm really too interested in that just now. We'll worry about getting things like copper and uh, chromatic metal later on. I want the cobalt. I want to get myself about a good 30 batteries or so to get me going. Not all of these are obtainable here. You can tell usually which ones you can mine and which ones you can't. There might be one in there. No? Okay. Nope. Overheated. Weapon charge depleted. Okay, let's go ahead and let's use that. Wow. Taking a while. Alright, there's a whole bunch of it over there. That's good. Well, I didn't really want the carbon, but that's alright. I could use it. Although I gotta be careful because my inventory will fill up rather quickly. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Alright, how much do we got? Let's see. Really? That much copper? That's interesting. How much did this? Ah, uh, okay. This is life support. I was right. There we go. 70% on life support. Go ahead and make a battery. And we can't make a whole ton of them. We get 10. 11. So we'll need more ferrite dust. And then we're going to need more... Is this what I think it is? Let's well, dihydrogen, which we could also use, so let's go ahead and gather it while we're here. Really, it looks kind of funny in this cave. Kind of yellow, not uh, blue like it usually does. We'll go ahead and grab more, a little more cobalt while we're here. Because, <coughs> again, we want about 30 of those batteries. Let's see how much we got. And it takes how much... I want to say it takes 10 cobalt, so that gives us six more batteries. Uh, we'll need definitely a lot more than that. It's kind of a drag and a little bit of a grind to get this stuff, especially this early in the video, but it is what it is. Gold, huh? Grab it. It's just in my way mostly at this point. It's a shame gold isn't worth as much in this game as it used to be. Platinum is about the best rated metal that you can get, but, you know, indium and emerald and those, <coughs> those elements are actually more valuable, but still a lot less valuable than they used to be. Alright, I think that should do it. What do you think? I think we're done. Let's get you the hazardous plant, which will give us some sodium. All right. No. No, the sodium. Too far away to really get a good beam on them, but that's all right. We'll grab it. All right. These are all carbon. Looks like it's daytime out there, finally. We're going to need some ferrite, so we're going to have to grab some as we get out.
There we go. That way we know what we're getting while we're at it. Looks like we're getting a little oxygen out of them. Bigger rocks take a little longer. Alright, there we go. Nice. Perfect. Exactly how much we wanted. Uh, we don't need any of the ammunition, but we'll hang on to it just for the time being. There we go. Let's go. Anybody here I need to scan? No? Looks like we had a ship pass over. That's good to know. Because we'll be using that to our advantage. Determining where the next landing pad, my plaid, pad will be. Okay, got some more nanites. Let's get this guy. No, it won't let us. Uh, okay, I'm going to skip it for now. I'll worry about it another time. Get your stuff while you can, you know? Alright, this is probably not much of a building here, but... Yeah, it's just a... Small little landing pad area. Look at that, right next to another cave. Hey, what's up, man? Alright. What do we got? Anything else nearby? Other than the thing right in front of me. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Maybe we can get another microprocessor? Corvax casing. How interesting. All right, so we got a save point now. Okay. All right, so we're still heading in a northerly direction. I don't see any other unknown buildings anywhere. Okay. And again, we want to try to follow ships. Because the ships that are flying overhead will usually tell us where we need to go. But we got to be at a higher vantage point to see where they went. That's the thing. Oh, that looks like a sodium patch. Yeah, let's take that. Thank you very, very much. Find an oxygen patch and we'll be all set. Um, hello. Bet you can't get on board the ship, huh? Wow. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? I get them all? I think I got them all. Let's get up over the top of this hill and we'll take a look around. See what we got up here. Have I scanned you yet? Yes, it looks like I have. Huh. Some flying creatures. Oh, I just got it. That was hilarious. Here we go. Hate when that happens. It shorts out a little bit sometimes. Yeah, looks like we got another building in front of us. All right, let's head towards it. Grab this. Low. So my life support power is low. Let me see what I got. If I'm not mistaken. You are for hazard protection. Let's go ahead and add you in real fast. We don't have anything else. We don't have any food for our life support. And we're having trouble finding anything that we could uh, get our life support going with. In other words, any more oxygen. There's a couple hazardous plants around that we can always get it from, but that doesn't seem to be the case here, so... Is what it is. I know I'm sounding a little more upbeat than usual. I'm actually just excited that I can actually do something now. There we go. Alright, so life support gels we've got. Looks... 
Like an unknown building is a monolith of some sort. <clears throat> Not one of those big monoliths that we really could use, but that's okay. Let's see what we get out of this one. Probably just more nanites, but that's okay. Yep. And there should be... At least some semblance of... Something nearby? Really? There it is. I don't think I can pick that one up. No, I can't. I'm gonna need a terrain manipulator. Let's grab you. I don't know what sweet root will get me, but we'll find out. Dihydrogen jelly. Excellent. Alright, let's go this way. Go towards... Oh, you know what? We should really hit that mono, that this thing over here because... It'll just remain on our radar as being selected until we can get rid of it. This really doesn't help us out much. So I'm not going to really worry about it. Alright. So let's go this direction. What is that? Metal fingers. Uh, handy if we want to get uranium or something like that. But otherwise, you know, the gold really isn't as valuable as it used to be. So I don't see any reason to get it. So let's head north. Oof. I'm surprised I didn't hurt myself. That was weird. Going the wrong direction. There we go. Go this way. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to be summoning su summoning <coughs> summoning the anomaly anytime soon, my friend. I need more of this, so we might as well grab it. Especially if we want to ma end up making ourselves that terrain manipulator. We need a, uh, the hydrogen jelly. So I know we just got one, but still, you kind of want to be on top of things here. Okay. Okay, I was trying to see if I could see those ships, but guessing no. Hi, can we pick you up, please? By the side of the hill, maybe? No. We're going to have to make a terrain manipulator, it looks like. Not a lot of buried technology I can access easily. And? More nanites. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and make it real fast here. Uh, let's see. Put you over here. Put the terrain manipulator. Not bolcaster. Ah. There. We got one of those. We need two more carbon nanotubes. Good. One more. There we go. All right. Got it. Okay. Got it. All right, where to? North, that way. Oh, hey, what do you know? I didn't see you. Now we could use your oxygen, so paybacks. That's right, my friend. Hate those little whippersnappers. Bane of my existence. They actually will be the bane of your existence if you're not careful. In permadeath mode. Sounds like we got some ships flying over. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are they going? 
follow. And where do they turn? They're turning to the left. But up on an angle. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually good. So it's going to be over in this direction then. We're actually pretty close. The, the more often they come by, the more, the more likely we are closer to one. Uh, you know, like a landing platform or something like that. All right. Do we see anything in the distance besides you? Uh, let's see. Looks like we got another unknown building over here. Finding a crash ship would be our ideal thing that we can do here. Careful, careful. Okay. All right. That way. Is this? It is. Oh, looks like we got our first uh, sentinel popping up. That's good. This will come in handy in a little while. For my life support. I can use this for life support rather than oxygen. So this will be really, really handy. So this is definitely worth my time in harvesting. Oh, except I mistaken that. I'll be using two batteries this time just to play it safe. If I can just get a couple hundred of it, that would be nice. But this is a not the best deposit in the world. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to run across more, obviously. You don't have to worry about that too, too much. But, but the starters, I would rather have a couple hundred to begin with. 250 would be nice. How much? How, how do we do? Let's find out. Uh, 200. That's uh, kind of crazy, isn't it? But she don't use much, so that's good. All right. Put you over here. Good. Used it all. Let's go. Head towards our unknown building. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. Up the slope. And it is just that. Just a little area that you can camp out in. And that's it. Let's pick up some supplies from these crates. By Keen Effigy. Nothing found. Okay, let's go back over here. Um, not really keen on the By Keen Effigies, to be honest with you, or the Corvax casing, so we're not going to be really too keen on that. Let me do something here real quick. It's driving me nuts. I don't want to uninstall my bolt caster. Thank you. All right. We have no damaged machinery over here. We might get some nanites out of it, though. Eh. I figured that's what I would get. Just in case. And we'll take the nanites. Thank you. More navigation data that we don't need. Okay. Back to the north. Take a quick look around. Make sure we're not missing something. Let's take more animals over there. More animals over there. Okay, I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything else. So let's go ahead and head up. Hmm. <clears throat> let's see here. Alright, that was weird. I think we got a cache here. Let's go ahead and grab it. I didn't check to see how much of the um, condensed carbon we've got. C plus, we don't have a ton of it, so we'll go ahead and grab whoop, grab what we can. Okay. All right, we've got some damaged machinery down there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Normally, I'd stay up on a ridge, but anytime we can get the, the, the slightest possibility of us finding an upgrade for our Exosuit is a good thing. <clears throat> Pardon me again. Okay, more nanites. This one I think we can grab. Yep. Okay. And back to the north. There's some kind of creatures up there. Okay. 
That's number five. I'm assuming that two of them are going to be underground. But we'll see. We'll get some nanites out of some of them anyway, so at least that's something. All right. You know what? I ought to check the sodium levels, too, because... We don't want to have two stacks of sodium in here. No, we don't. Good. Okay, we're good. We're maxed out on that, pretty much. One more plant might max it out. Oh, we've got another building right in front of us. So, so far, so good. It looks like we got a building up there, too. It's an artifact fragment. We'll take a look. We're going to go ahead and use the sodium for now, because I let it get too low again. Now, this artifact fragment that's up here is just going to be... Another marker that will get past. Ran out of run juice again. Ah. Okay, actually this isn't bad. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and use this. Because we can get a nice expensive artifact out of all this. What's in our exosuit right now? Do we have room? Got plenty of room. All right, good deal. We'll get number two right here. And number three here. And the big case is over here. One, two, and three. And what do we get? A rare item, a thousand years old. So it'd be worth about half mil, I think. Maybe? 661. It's not terrible. Okay. Well, let's keep heading over. Because that's pretty cool. I mean, this whole area is protected as well, so that's always nice. Gravitino Vault. Yeah, let's stay away from those. Let's not anger the Sentinels today. Yeah, like that guy right there. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah. Yeah, uh, well, we'll run through just to show that we've been there. That's about it. But I'm not taking on these guys. All right, so we've been here, done that. See, this is worth good stuff. I mean, not the nitrogen so much, but, you know, gold, eh. Magna Gold. See, that would be worth something. But... Alright, so we're heading north, this direction. What do we got? Not a whole lot on the old scanner. Harmonic scrap. Why is there harmonic scrap here? Okay. Why do we find harmonic scrap on the ground near here? This isn't a campsite. We're not a it's not a dissident world, so this is weird. I shouldn't be able to find this. <clears throat> Interesting. Hmm. Yep. I don't think we can get anything from it, but Yep, we can't even break it open. Interesting. Rebuilding autophage, huh? Hmm. I mean, we can make some chromatic metal. That's not a problem. We got the condensed carbon. I'm, I'm tempted on figuring that out. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's do it. We need a metal plate. I'm very curious. Um, what happened? You saw me make the metal plate, right? Why do I suddenly not have enough to make a metal plate, and what happened to the metal plate I just made? Oh, that's weird. Okay, very strange. <clears throat> Let's not uh, question this. Now, we do have the copper on us still, don't we?
Don't we have... No, nope, we already used it all up. Okay, let's gonna get rid of the Viking effigy in this. I'm curious as to what's gonna happen here, so I'm being kind of... You know, a little bit curious as to what happens. Let's see. So we need this, chromatic metal. We need condensed carbon. We need a carbon nanotube, which we can make. We should have enough carbon for it. And there it goes. Pockets of sentience left behind. And we can't feed in any lost circuits, so... We'll just have to leave. So that's all we get out of it. We repaired it. Reject objectives complete, but nothing special is going to happen for us. Alright. Moving on. I was curious. We wasted some resources and some time. No big deal. But now we know. I about to say, this wasn't a dissident world. That would have been something if it was. And I know it isn't already. I mean... Gonna get some extra ferrite dust because we can always use some. Now we can use one. See, look at that. Good deal. Sorry, a little bit of silence there. All right, let's see what we can do here. We have some ships fly over. Did I just hear anything? No? We're hearing things. Oh, no, there was a ship. Okay. Nice to know where he went. Oof. That was wild. And it's going off to the left as well. So that general direction is where we want to go. So I think northwest is the direction we're going to start heading. I'm going to look around in all directions around me anyway, just to play it safe. But that seems to be where we're going. All right. Off we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this direction. What in the world was that all about? Dude just threw a hairy gasket or something. I don't know. You know, I wonder, is that a creature in this cave? It is. Alright, got it. So that's six to seven. Let's just check real quick and see how many we got. Underground. We got one more underground creature, which we'll probably find on one of the edges of these uh, places at some point, but it's not here today. We're not going to worry about it just yet. Okay. Off we go. A lot of meteors falling all over the place. Lots of meteors. It's very odd. All right. Off we go. North, northwest. We got to head that general direction. So this way. So those guys are headed in the direction I think I'm supposed to be going. Let's see which way they turn, and that'll tell us where we need to go. Anytime now. They're still turning to that direction, and okay, good. So I think we're headed in the right way. Take a quick look around, make sure we don't have any buildings nearby. <laughs> Because undiscovered buildings could also lead to ships. Yeah, I saw him at the last moment and said, heck with it, I'm just going to keep going. Hmm. 
There we go. Shoo. Okay, take another look. A lot of us looking and looking and looking. You're going to be keeping a look around, around, and around all the time. <laughs> so, that's the fun of this. Gonna use our dioxide for that. Alright, take another look. Ah, really was hoping to find more buildings, but we've actually found a decent amount. So I'm not going to complain too much. And the overhead ships are flying a little more frequently. Yeah, they're going that way, so that's weird. Yeah, I can't see them anymore, so I don't know which way they're going to turn. Alright, up the slope we go. Oh, looks like we're daytime again. Rock, that rock there looked like a gravestone for just a minute. Kind of creepy looking. Like a real life gravestone, not like the ones you see in No Man's Sky. It's a little worried. Trap in the rocks. Alright. Oh, what do you know? Building right in front of us. And another creature that we've never yet did we have yet to discover. Look at that. Where'd it go? All right, that's just weird. It was there a minute ago. You saw that creature as well as I did. Oh. Well, excuse me for standing right in front of me. Wow, that was hilarious. All right, so those guys I can watch. Where are they going? To the left, right? To the left? Good, okay. Oh yeah, that hurt. Hope I didn't break anything. Hmm. Yeah, nothing special. Let's go. Different region again? That's interesting. That's when the music comes on. You hear that weird change in music. Hey, a trade ball. That's handy. I will utilize this. Thank you very much. Let's sell off our salvage data. Uh, let's get rid of the gold. We don't need it. Uh, anything else we don't need? Let's get rid of that. We don't need it. We don't need those. We definitely don't need that. We're getting a good deal for it. 6.2% over price. Alright, good. Good. Alright. What can we buy? Not a whole lot. So, we'll leave it all alone. Not bad, though. We made some money. One and a half mil is what we're up to. So that's a good thing. Alright, let's take a look. We've got another building up here. Let's take a look at it. I can hear some ships flying overhead again, see? Yeah, I can't see them anymore. Alright, head towards the building. I think it's the money. Yeah, enterprising, yes. Capitalist? Okay, that's as high as we're going to go, right? Capitalist. Yep, that was it. And abandoned. Uh, not much I can do here. I mean, uh, the eggs are used to be worth a lot more at one point, but it's just not worth enough for me to do what we want to do here. Yeah, 
some reason you can't get the right bead on them anymore. You're inside these places. I gather up stuff. Sometimes you get technology from these, but most of the time it's just going to be nanites, which is fine. I'm not going to read anything. It's all about the crimson eye. There it is. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, there we go. Eh, not bad. 100 nanites. Ah, I got another one of those stupid things. I'm not used to seeing two of them in here. Speaking of which, why don't we go ahead and get our discovery taken care of. Yep, 1,750 nanites. That's going to get us a good chunk. Nice. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Nothing found. Read the encyclopedia. We're in the, we're in, so we're in a Corvax system. That's good to know. Probably could have figured that out at some other point. No problem. All right. So, north is where we're going. This general direction, anyway. Take a look around. That's the trade terminal we just came from. And what's that? Another unknown building. Okay, let's hit all the unknown buildings, because I've, I've taken a look at buildings like this, which are kind of out of my way, and I'll be like, eh, you know, I'm not going to go ahead and hit it. And then I turn out later on, if I went back and checked, it was a crashed ship. And that would have gotten me sped along so much faster. But no, I had to ignore it. But most of the time when I check them out, they just turn out to be, you know, crappy little buildings I don't need. And that's what this may be. You know, if we get high enough to see it from a distance. So what I'll do is I'll see if I can't get up higher. All right, what is it? Still can't tell from here. And I don't see any smoke or anything like that, so... Probably not what I'm looking for. It is a broken piece of machinery. But I'll go ahead and check it out. Now, if I can get close enough, I'll go ahead and... You never know, maybe it has a uh, piece of technology in it. That'll be good. Technology is always a nice thing. Ah, uh, looks like an Atlantis area. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, more nanites. Okay. Let's get the... Technology. We'll get the stuff from over here. Okay. There we go. Alright, so take a quick look around. Another piece of broken machinery less than a click away. Uh, let's see. This is the direction we really rather go. Okay, let's go this way. I got a good feeling about this run, though. I mean, this isn't terribly hard so far. We're in good shape. I just got slammed by that thing. Take some oxygen from you and your buddy next to you. There we go. Take a quick look. Make sure I'm not missing something down here. No? Okay. Off we go. Alright, good deal. There we go. Okay. Up the ridge. Let's take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Okay. Not seeing a whole lot. Go ahead and investigate. I won't be there for you to investigate. <coughs> so there. Now 
Now, I have to admit, um, I do appreciate a good Fugitive run or any of the other runs that he's created, Beeble Mum, that is, um, because these particular runs have gotten easier. It used to be that a Fugitive, a uh, Fugitive, that's pretty good. I think I just made up a new word. A Permadeath No Starter Ship Challenge was more difficult because in Permadeath mode, you could die easily. You could just take your jetpack, go up a little too high up in the air, and land and kill yourself. Yeah, I just used two batteries because I chose the wrong one. Of course, that's all right. All right, what do we got? Unknown building. I've already been here. At least it looks exactly like the other one I was at. All right, I'll take it. I got a, one or two things I can get rid of this time around. That's it. Uh, you got phosphorus on you. You got exosuit upgrade charts. 39 of those. I'm not going to buy any. Let's get the dioxide so I don't have to find any on my own. All right. That'll work. That'll work. Uh, let's see. So that's north. Take another look around. While we're here, I see nothing. We'll go up to that hill over there. Sorry, sir. Pardon me. Up there. Let me guess. Tycoon. Where'd it go? There it is. Hmm. Got it. Upgrade? Or nanites? Nanites it is. Just because you love giving me nanites, of course. Alright. Take a look. Uh, let's see. I don't see anything from here. Uh, this general direction this way. Let's move on. Oh. Am I getting landed on? I am. Son of a gun. Dude. Let me guess, the pilot's not going to jump out? I'm not doing anything, idiot. There we go. No, pilot didn't get out this time. Can I just get in? No? I should probably shoot it and see what happens. But I literally had a pilot land right on top of my head. That's hilarious. Alright, so what do we got? Use a battery. Uh, north is that way. We're headed generally this way. can't believe I had somebody land on me like that. Let's see. Sorry, I got a flurry of text messages all of a sudden. Happens. Life doesn't stop even though you're recording. Ain't that the truth, right? Alright, get up this hill. Come on, get up there. I have faith. You can do it. All right, take a look. Not seeing much of anything. I'm still going to go in this general direction, that way. Not seeing a whole lot more ships flying overhead. Getting a little worried about that. Yeah, I know. You just want to investigate things, don't you? I mean, literally, I'm on a vertical surface here. you think it would give me the bonus boost, but nope, not this time. 
All right, there we go. Take another look. Now, if we have a no HUD challenge, this would be a great place to do it from, I tell you. This would have been really, really nice. That's the good thing about the no HUD challenge, too, is you don't get that stupid voice telling you all the time what's going on. A class, C class, six million. Nice to know. Where are you going, man? All right, still going that way, huh? Hey, how about this? Good time for a looking into the distance, gazing. I don't think you have it on this one, do you? Nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on, shall we? You're probably wondering to yourself, what is he doing? I was thinking about taking a picture, okay? Give me a break. There we go. Nothing, huh? Nothing but those rowdy sentinels driving me nuts. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Anything? Anything? Nothing. Okay. I really sense we're going to be getting close to something soon. I know we're an hour into this and you're still wondering what's going on. Well, so am I. So there. 8,000 steps. Yep. Singular ship flying over. To the left again. And down. That's interesting. Just more nanites. There we go. We'll use sodium that time. So I let it go a little bit too long. We'll just pick up a little sodium on the way. Aha! Another unknown building. Could it be... what I'm looking for? Um... Yeah, that. Nighttime again. I think it's really odd that I started on a night time. So. Um, okay. Nothing special here, it looks like. Okay. Let's see if we can get some microprocessors. Not that we really need any. Oh, I am batteries candy. That's good. Okay. Thought I heard a ship fly over. Yeah, I did. Okay, and they're headed in that general direction. That's good. Still headed in the right place, I guess. And again, they're coming quicker. So that's a good thing. Oh yeah, should take a look. Every now and then, don't forget to take a look. At least, sometimes I get sidetracked because I'm looking at something. It looks like we got another unknown building in the distance. Yeah, at night it seems to eat up more energy.
Uh, looks like it might be another little encampment. Nothing special there. That's okay. That's okay. We should probably do a save. And again, ship's flying overhead again, so that's a good thing. That's kind of in the general direction I was hoping to be going. Let's see which way they go. They should swerve to the right a little bit. Okay, good. So we're going in the right way. So this is going to be this general direction then. Alright, take another look. What we're looking for is if they start to circle. If they start circling, then we know where we've found a landing pad. And then it's just a matter of gathering resources. You know, to make money. We need at least five or six million to get what we need. But I think we're in good shape. Yeah, like I said, I think it's falling faster. Just checking, you never know. Okay. Yeah, didn't even see it. Did it behind the back. Behind the back, sodium snatch. That's right. Just that good. Right. You know, you think, uh, I've been doing this for just about a year now. And in that year, I know of one individual who has gotten to the point where they're fighting their own sentinel battles finally, and they've really increased their abilities to play the game, and it's kind of nice to see. You know, heartwarming to see that there's people out there that are really doing well, and it's based on the videos that they see from several of us. Not just myself, I don't take credit for that. That wouldn't be right, but others as well. You know, Jason and uh, Beeblebum and, and and Delta. Even Delta has been uh, helping a lot of people out. Delta is very uh, uh, also, I should say, he's also very. That's what I'm looking for. Um, he's expanded his ideas and horizons, if you will, into other games and stuff. So that's really really good. I'm glad he could do that. I've got a few others that I've been able to do as well, but. Uh, this latest round of illnesses has uh, really put a crimp in our plans, and hopefully this weekend we'll be able to straighten things back out. Um, I think we're going to delay the stream. going to delay the live stream for a few days. So instead of this weekend, we'll do it in another weekend. We need to get ourselves entire family healthy enough to... Uh, before we can start doing some stuff like that again. Or else we're just going to be pushing it. Whoa. Okay. Alright. So. This general direction. i got to keep heading in the right direction. See? The ships are coming a lot more often now. They're more frequent. So we're, we're bound to come across an archive. Or. Something. Really soon. hopefully means a ship. Anything, Lil? Well, every little thing helps, you know? Yeah, there you go. Microprocessor. See, I used to want to collect those even more because of the fact that uh, we do fugitive challenges and you need them. But, you know, I'm going to grab that machinery. Um, in this challenge, we don't need it as much. Unless we're looking to sell it, and really it's not worth enough. Nope, just more nanites.
Uh, yeah, I can't see where I'm going. Stop that. There we go. This way. Want to land? No? Uh-oh. Alright, there we go. Nothing yet. Like I said, I got a really good feeling we're coming up on something soon. Just around the river bend or something like that. Sounds like a song. I think I've heard it somewhere. Look. It's, it's funny, the longer these runs get, the quieter I get. Life support, how nice. Handy. I'll use that. Thank you. Stinking plant. We are just going to keep running. The running man. Looks like we got an unknown building 400 feet in front of us. Units. Had some ships just fly over. Nobody landed, right? No. Okay. Ah. That is just a building. Oh, no it isn't. It is a minor trading establishment. Let's avail of us. Avail ourselves of it. Alright, what do we got? Uh, let's see. Get rid of the salvage day, the Viking effigy. And eh, we'll hang on to the rest. I don't think there's really anything that we need out of here. They don't have much. Uh, what do you know? Traveler. C-Class. That's nothing I need. Alright, but you know what we can do? We might be able to get ourselves an upgrade. Let's see what he's got. Uh, blueprints. Uh, that's not going to help me. Advanced mining laser will come in handy. Both of those would come in handy. The waveform recycler. Which might extend my scanning range. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get both of them. Let's get the Advanced Mining Laser. Waveform Recycler. Shield Lattices are not going to come in handy too much for us. Now let's see how much it's going to cost to put these in. Uh, I need 100 Magnetized Ferrite, so that's not a problem. And... that's What, what about the laser? Uh, Antimatic Seal and two wiring looms. I need two wiring looms. Do you have wiring looms, sir? You have one. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and grab it. Because I don't know when I'm going to find Medic Seal while we're at it. And that way I don't have to make it. Because we don't know if and when we're going to find this place. So let's go ahead and start building it, and we'll put in that. We'll need a carbon nanotube, which we can do right now. I have to get some carbon soon. So we'll go ahead and add that to it. So now all we need is one more wiring loom. For this, we'll need magnetized ferrite, which we can do. We'll need 200 ferrite to do that, though. All right. Just check. I don't remember if there was any in here, but there isn't. Oh, they don't really have anything in there. It's really weird.
Anything over here? They got damaged machinery? No, but they got another building right there. Okay, that's kind of crazy. I'm gonna take you this time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park myself in here. Yep, I know, I made it. Magnate. Okay. So we're gonna park in here. We're gonna drop that. Actually, I think we're gonna have to load it up. Grab you and drop you in. That'll give us 150 ferrite dust. How much do we have on us already? 150 to begin with. Okay, well that's good. And we'll need 200 of it to get 100 magnetized ferrite. For some reason my back is bugging me today. Somehow we get a Viking dag dagger out of this. I don't know why. Very odd. I'm going to check out the other building real fast. See if I can see it from up here. Because if it's a ship, I can stop what I'm doing. Uh, looks like just a campsite. For some reason, it's not building in. Though I do see some smoke. Hmm. You don't think it's a ship, do you? Why is it not building in? That's a first for me. All right. How far along are you? Wow. Boy, this thing takes a while, doesn't it? Alright, go get a coffee. Uh, go to the restroom. Take a, take a load off for just a moment. We'll be back here in just a second. While we wait and wait and wait and wait. Do we have any more to put in here? No, oh, that was it, huh? Okay. Four. Come on, you can do this. Okay, so we need another 50 to put in there. Actually, that's going to fill it up on both sides. Okay, so we'll have to wait. Meanwhile, get rid of it. Put some oxygen over here. I'll hang on to you. What are you good for? Life support. That's good. Okay, we need 50 more. Just 50. Okay. Actually, we need to, I was gonna pick it up. So we're gonna go ahead and hold off on that. Okay. And where's our 200 pure? We'll have to put the other 50 in in a moment. It'll only give us half that. There we go. All right. And that should complete out our whole process. So once this is done building, we'll be able to Add that to it, and then hope that that really was what I think it was. Really hope that was a ship. Because there was a flag there, and a flag usually means a ship. Yeah, 
any time now. Okay, 10% more. Because a nice crash ship would be great. Okay. Over to the multi-tool. And we should be able to fix that now. And that did increase our scanner range, so that's good. Alright. Let's get out of here. Down there. Let's see what happens when we get closer. I really think that that might be a good thing. It is. It is a crash ship. An icon just showed up on my scanner at the top. It's a crash ship. That is awesome. Like I said, I had a good feeling about this one. Aller. Sweet. As long as there's not anybody wandering around, that is. Oh, crap. It's already claimed. Uh, always seems to happen that way, right? Where's the pilot? All right, I'll take what we can. That stinks. Really thought we had something good there. Uh, well, wait a minute. It just says building. I wonder if we just have a glitch in the system here. Now it's a distress beacon. That really is a crashed ship. Elder appears before me. Okay, good. Disappears. Still operational. Let's get some functioning technology. Okay, that's great. Can we claim the ship? We can. Prepare. We're going to claim the ship. Yay! So we have a ship. Now, the end of the thing is going to be... The end of this is going to be that we have to repair it. So, what do we have in our inventory? Let's get rid of you. I don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, so we got plenty of room now. All right. So we need a metal plate. We're going to need a hermetic seal. So we got both of those. We need dihydrogen gel. We got that. And we need pure ferrite. Usually 50 of it. Well, let's see. And we have 50 ferrite. That'll give us 50 pure ferrite. So that's good. Let's get that going. Let's see what we can do to repair the ship. One. And we've got the jelly. We just need the 50 pure ferrite. This should be it. Okay. So this ship is now operational. We haven't repaired the hyperdrive or the shield. We need a little more chromatic metal to repair the shield. And a little sodium nitrate, which we can do. All right. So I need to get to civilization. Let me just see, is there any copper nearby? Son of a gun, right there. Careful, now is not a time to die of stupidity. That should do it. Because I definitely want the shields up and running. And I do want to check out one thing. I want to check out to see if how close I was to... Uh, to that landing platform I keep telling everybody was close to. Okay, so we need sodium nitrate. Let's do the sodium first. Well, we had a lot of sodium. Yeah, why not? Only needed 13 of this.
We need five more chromatic metal. We could get more and repair some more stuff, but if I can get the shields repaired, we'll be in better shape. I really would rather just have the shields repaired. Okay. Shield is repaired. Now we don't have to listen to it. Plus we'll get a shield upgrade out of it, so that's even better. Alright, good deal. This should do it. Let's take our ship for a spin, shall we? <laughs> there we go. And we're going to head north. So there is north, and we postulated that there was a landing pad in this general direction, correct? Do a little scanning. Well, the scanner takes a while on this one. Not a bad run. I mean, in all honesty, this was pretty good. I think we did a great, great job. Okay, so... We would have ran across that. That would have been right in our path, so that's not a problem. So this might have taken a little longer than I thought. So how about you? I'm not seeing much of anything. So I thought they were getting closer together, the ships that were coming through. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> I'm almost always right about this, though, when I'm on foot especially. Another building that somehow was not showing up on my scanner. And that's weird. Why didn't that show up either? Or that. Oh yeah, now you show up. Jerk. Let's land here real quick. We'll take off in a moment, but... I'm gonna wonder whether the scanner is working right. But I think we've got it, folks. I think we really have got it. This will give us a bird's eye view, too, while we're at it. I don't see any landing platforms. Or an archive. Hmm, minor settlement, yeah. I've probably already been there, too. Lately, they've been showing me minor settlements rather than landing platforms, which is really odd, so... Alright, well, good deal. I'm not sure how much further I want to go with this. Uh, I think we have done exceptionally well. Um, we found what we were looking for rather quickly. And we're able to succeed in the No Starter Ship Challenge in a permadeath mode. So let's go ahead and land here. This will be fine. This will be a fine stopping point, I think. And we'll call this one complete. Why couldn't it tell me that this minor trip... Yeah, never mind. It's not important. Still haven't figured that one out. Gives you a random one somewhere on the planet. Excellent. Just so we can take a look. It's probably going to be the same weapon. Theory of Sight. It's also C-Class. So this has a supercharged slot on it. Would have been worth it to me. But anyway. Okay. That should do it. So I think we succeeded in our no starter ship challenge um i am going to call it a night and i want to thank you all for watching i know that these don't get too too many views but i know that a lot of people do appreciate a good uh no starter ship challenge on occasion so we'll be doing more in the future i'll be doing some maybe some no hud challenges and things like that but i'm going to go ahead and call it a night I want to thank you all for watching again and uh Feel free to check out the rest of my videos. Hit, hit that like and subscribe, please, folks. Uh, that always helps the metrics. And again, we'll see you in our next video. Take care, everybody.